Today we are hiking Africa's tallest mountain. We are attempting to climb Mount Kilimanjaro for nine days. We are doing the Western Lamosho Breach Route. We started about 7,700 feet. We will make it to our first campsite tonight, which is located in the rainforest zone, which is at 9,300 feet. It took us about two hours to get here all the way from Arisha to Moshi to start the hike. And we're absolutely excited. There, we've already seen some zebras. We've seen giraffes along the way. We also see black and white colobus monkeys and some blue monkeys. So super excited to continue the trek. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make it to our camp. There's a whole family of colobus monkeys right there. <laughs> there they go. They really do look like flying skunks. They do. That's probably insulting to them, but that's what they look like. With him on the second day. This is base camp for the night. Nice tenting situation. So we have made it to our first campsite for the night. We are at Mti Mkubwa, which is the Swahili word for a big tree. There used to be a really big tree located in the middle here. This camp was much smaller. Um, it's also called Forest Camp. So I'm really excited to see uh, what the tent situation is. We're going to eat some food and then pretty much chill out for the rest of the night. So we have just got it situated into camp. Now I'm going to put my sleeping bag away, kind of get my outfits out for the next day. Um, and then we're going to go eat. So I'm going to do this before the sun goes down. I think the sun goes down around 6 p.m. ish. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, today was not really that challenging of a hike. You lose your breath a bit because of the elevation, but we really do go pole pole, which is very slow. Um, yeah, what else about the hike? I'm hiking today with Killy Warriors. They're an excellent company. So far, I had really, really great service um, with all the guides, the porters. Everyone's really nice and very accommodating. Um, so very, very pleased with that. And we're also doing a really interesting route. Not many tour companies do this route. There's actually a glacier that we get to go to. Um, it's a few days down in the line of the trip. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to go to that glacier. I think that'll probably be the highlight of the trip for me. Um, but yeah, we'll um, go catch some grub later, set up the tent. That's kind of basically it. All I have to do for the rest of the night. So I don't think I've ever done a toilet tour, but we are gonna do a toilet tour today because this is quite interesting, the situation that is going on in here. So let's check it out. So first we unzip a little private toilet. Boom, it's here, okay? Then you must push that once you're done your business. You pull on this little lever here. We have toilet supplies, sanitary stuff, and that's basically it, that is the toilet tour. And um, yeah, we're just chilling, eating some popcorn, having some hot chocolate before dinner. Are you checking us? Oh yeah, yeah you have to check you guys. You're, you're looking at our plates go. <laughs> okay, sure, so tell me, sure. pick up Who the pace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chuck is getting his oxygen taken. I can take Chuck? Chuck. Chuck. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. And to make sure that you are... Your finger's not cold. Yeah. Because if your finger's cold, <laughs> no. you can't get the accurate oh, yeah. number. That's it, Chuck is dead. <laughs> no, 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 he can go, he can go though. So, but we have to, you know, to try to warm up your finger. <laughs> yeah, to warm up your finger, you know that? <laughs> I got into that, I did get into that spiral of, okay. I can't, I can't deter yeah. our schedule. Yeah. Okay. You're going to do the same thing every day after having your dinner? Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is 6.30 a.m. And the guides woke up and they brought us hot chocolate to our tent. So it's going to be a start of a good day. I woke up at about 3 a.m. today, but um, went back to sleep, thank God. And uh, yeah, should be a really good day today. I'm excited to get to the second camp for today. And we should be there around like 2 p.m. ish, so we'll get more time to relax. But yeah, really excited for the hike today.
What conversation am I walking into? <laughs> the best kind. It's what going downhill. Kind of like, so if, if I'm over on the uh, dirty water side, we having a little Sammy today. Yeah. Little eggs, Take bacon, ketchup. Boom, done. Our guides right now are packing up all the stuff. Look how many people we have. We have about a hundred people total. Just to help us get up this mountain. Mount Maru in the distance, right over there. You guys can see the tree line is stopping. We exited the forest region. Now we're going into the heather zone, up here with the shorter shrubs. Woo, you made it! This is our lunch stop for the day. So today is day two of the climb to Mount Kilimanjaro. We have just left the forest zone, which is around 9,300 feet, and we will be making our way up to Shira Camp, which is at 11,300 feet today. The hike is about five to seven hours on the second day of the Lomotho Western Breach Route. And yeah, so we're just gonna go have lunch now. And the five to seven hours is even including lunch, so it's not too chaotic of a day, not that much. Uh, incline or elevation that we're experiencing so far I haven't gotten any altitude sickness but I have been taking you know my altitude medication been drinking tons and tons of water um, but yeah pretty feeling great my legs aren't sore you get really huffy and puffy when you go up the mountain but other than that um, the morale of the group is really strong it's been absolutely amazing climbing with Killy Warriors so yeah we're gonna um, eat some lunch and then make our way up to Shira camp think we'll get there around 2 p.m. ish and then apparently there's a shower up there which I was absolutely stoked about because yeah we're accumulating a lot of stink throughout this uh, this hike and this journey um, and it's pretty impressive to have a shower on the top of a mountain so I'm not sure if it's like a little pop-up shower but they did say there was warm water um, so yeah uh, this morning we had breakfast then we headed out um, the guides brought hot chocolate to our tents in the morning so that was really really sweet of them and um, yeah we've been hiking this whole time but it's been amazing weather you can even see the tree line change as you go from the forest camp to Shira camp it's becoming a lot more brush and uh, trees do not really grow here because we're getting much higher in elevation so yeah we're gonna eat some lunch then go to Shira camp Day two, let's do it, baby. This is lunch for today. We got some fruit, pineapple, uh, papaya, looks like bananas, bread, muffins. <laughs> No, do the like sounding thing again. There you go. South African ladies. So we have made it to Shira camp. This is day two camp for the night. They have everything all set up. There is showers here. We're gonna get some snacks, shower, and then we're gonna eat. And it's only like 3 p.m. So it's pretty good timing as well. Get lots of time to relax before the sun goes down tonight. This is the Shira camp sign. Elevation 3,610 meters. We're assigning our life, saying that we've made it to Shira Sarah. Camp 1. That's me. Yes. So, where's the shower? Oh, it's up there. It's you the bucket. Bike. We're doing some acclimatization, O2 concentration.
Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of day two. It was a pretty steep hike up today compared to other days, um, but I didn't really get tired, honestly. It's at about five to seven hour hikes, including the stops that we took, so it didn't feel long at all. Um, tomorrow is going to be another big ascend, and I'm really excited for tomorrow as well. We ate such incredible food for both lunch and dinner. I'm honestly so full every time I go to bed. Um, but yeah, no, like, only symptom I kind of felt today was a bit of a headache. Um, but some other people sadly felt headache and a little bit of vomiting. So yeah, that's kind of an issue. But all of our blood oxygen levels are really, really high. Mine was like 93 tonight. So tomorrow in the morning when we check it again, it will probably acclimatize and my blood O2 will be higher than, uh, then tonight but yeah gonna um get some shut eye and wake up call at 6 30 a.m with hot chocolate to the front door of my tent so can't complain about that and i'm really excited for uh, hiking tomorrow gotta fill up our water for the day this is the handy little station they have it's a pump filtration so you push here water comes out here boom got your water Relaxing, you can sit like this. Morning. Like Morning. Up there, so. No, I just Morning. keep. This is the great tent takedown. 70 people are helping us take down the tent. To the left, to the left. Sarah's attempting to climb the rock. All right. For me, it's the coming down part that's the hard part. That's always a tricky bit. <laughs> nope. Yeah, Sarah! Woo! Actually, can you get a video of it? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm already filming. Oh, wow. You yeah. should get up there. Otherwise. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let me take a photo quickly. Let's go, Dan the man. This is the plaque to commemorate Scott Fisher, who died on Everest. So we have a ride to Fisher's camp. We are going to be here for lunch today. And this is named after Scott Fisher, the guide who died on uh, Mount Everest. So we're gonna go here, and then we have about an hour of hiking more to do till we get to our camp for the rest of tonight. And um, it's been a pretty easy trek today. It's a little colder than yesterday, really breezy up on this side. And apparently it gets a lot more rain and precipitation, which is why you see those types of plants and trees that we talked about that need the constant water. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have lunch and uh, do the rest of the climb. I think it's so amazing when you're up on that. So guys, today is day three of our expedition to Mount Kilimanjaro, the top of it. And today we have went from Shira Camp 1, which was at 11,300 feet. And we are going to Mir Camp, which is at 13,800 feet. So that's the elevation difference that we're going to be doing today. And the hike takes about five to seven hours. But since we are now currently stopped at um, our 
our spot for lunch here. Um, we only have about an hour hike left to the top. Um, it's been a very good day. Super cloudy. No one's really getting sunburnt today and we're not sweating, which is great. Um, but it's definitely more chilly than the other day. As we ascend every single day, it's going to get much, much cooler. Um, last night was really, really cold. So I suggest that if you're on the second day of the hike overnight, just wear a ton of pants, sweaters, you can always take it off. But if you're cold, you won't be able to fall asleep. Other than that, had some minor headaches in that, but they go away within a few hours. We've been able to acclimate. My blood oxygen level was slightly lower today at 91. And I believe the day before it was, or at whenever I arrived to the Shira camp, it was at 93. Um, so we're just monitoring everything and everyone seems to be having a really great time. So we're excited to get up to the top of the camp for a night to Mir camp. How we're gonna get the views <laughs> with a super clickbaity title never before seen nice cave cool cave vibes ryan's making the climb there he goes oh he's still going don't get stuck ryan Still in the game. Yeah, still in the game. Yeah. Still in the game. Still in the game. So this is our campground for tonight. This is the Mori campground. Very nice. And you guys can see that's Mount Kilimanjaro peeking out through the clouds right there. We will be heading up to another camp tomorrow for day four. A little bit more hiking, but the hike only takes three hours tomorrow. We were promised popcorn inside. Right now. And do yep. they deliver? <laughs> they deliver popcorn all the time. Matata. Yup, yup, yup. Oh wow, it's so hot in here. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. How are you? Good. It's going to cook uh, spices. Sweet potato soup. Sweet potato soup? Yeah. Okay. Sweet and corn potatoes. Oh, sweet and corn potato. Yeah. yeah. Beef. Beef? Okay. And uh, chili and carrots. Chili and carrots. Wow. And uh, brown rice. Okay. Yeah. Is that garlic you just put there? Yeah, that's garlic. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good spice. That's our first real look at Kili. You can see up top the glacier. This is our camp. This is what our camp looks like at sunrise. You can see all through here. You can still see Mount Kilimanjaro shining in the distance over there with the light illuminating it still, but it's getting very dark. Very soon, very chilly. Brown rice. Love, uh, makes you happier than seeing a big old steaming plate of rice. Oh, yeah. Beef sauce. Oh, oh sauce. yeah. Beef, Beef sauce. sauce. Yes. And to top it off. And what else? There's Zucchini always more. And carrot. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and pili pili, yeah? What's that? Pili pili. The same Tobasco. Oh. Hey. Yes.
here for breakfast we have finger millet some french toast there's fruit salad in there we got all the drinks coffees teas they are clearing down the tents legends at work that's our eating tent It is day six. We are hiking to the next camp. Slight altitude sickness, the headache situation, and also a bag situation leaking. So we'll have very um, red pants for the rest of the day because I decided to put Mio in my bag. But um, yeah, we are hiking. That is Chuck behind us, giving us a good wave. And we're excited to get up to the next camp. We're gonna stay there for two nights to acclimatize. Like how crazy this looks on camera. Nothing like chocolate at almost 15,000 feet. <laughs> this is for good luck for the climb, baby. We're making it to the summit. Lava Tower, 4,600 meters. How you feeling? Okay, I'm feeling great. Are you doing a real? Are you doing video? <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I look dramatically off into there. That's yeah. Okay, dramatic look on three. That's good. You did it. We made it day four to the lava camp. A little tired coming up and altitude is kicking in. Um, got some headaches going on, but should be good for the hike tomorrow to the top of the lava tower if it's safe. So I'm very excited for that. We're now gonna attempt to climb lava rock. Or lava rock tower. Lava tower. Lava tower. You got the Sarah. Woo! Day four, we are at the top of Lava Tower. People are taking crazy photos. There's a 300 foot drop on all sides. Um, but we made it to the top. That's, that's all that counts. We're just watching the beautiful sun setting. This is the Lava Rock Tower we climbed. There's a sunset in, and that's Mount Maru right there. You can see the clouds. We are above the clouds. The clouds are all here. There's more clouds up there, but most of them are down there.
Absolutely epic way to end of the day. We did like a dance party to like seven different Tanzanian songs, Kilimanjaro songs, and absolutely fantastic. I'll, of course, I'll put all the video clips in there, but it was super, super fun. Um, that was really, really something. Day 
five of our hike to Kili. Today, we're doing an acclimate. Ac oh, Jesus, that was hard to say. <laughs> Next take, we are doing an acclimate. Oh, Jesus. The <laughs> acclimatization hike. Okay, third take. Good morning, guys. Today is day five of our hike to Kili. We are doing an acclim. Acli <laughs> I can't, I can't say it. It's like anemone, anemone. You live in what kind of home? In an anemone, anemone, anemone. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. Whoa. Good morning, guys. Today is day five of our hike to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. We are making our way to Arrow Glacier Camp, which is about sixteen thousand feet. We have camped last night at the Lava Tower Camp, which is at 15,000 feet. So in the uh, two to three hour mark, we are gonna have an elevation gain of exactly 1,000 feet. Um, so that's really exciting. As you can see, you know, they are thinner up here. You're gonna experience some shortness of breath. But um, overall, everything has been good. And uh, we're excited to continue on our hike and get to the top of Kili. So that's kind of the plan for today. And we will be enjoying hiking for the rest of the day. I love pizza and I love chicken. Chicken, yeah. chicken pizza. Gosh, five stars at 16,000 feet. Yeah. Six stars. Look at all this hail that has accumulated. It is hailing and on the top of Killy. Good morning guys, today is summit day. It is 3 a.m. and we're gonna attempt to summit Mount Kilimanjaro and do the Western Lamoso uh, breach. We are going to create our camp today. It's gonna take approximately five to seven hours to get there. And then we're gonna have lunch and choose then to either summit or we could summit the next day. But hopefully everyone chooses to summit today. It will just make it easier. Plus then we can sleep at a much lower elevation. So we're super excited. We're also super tired and exhausted, but it's gonna be a really, really big day today. Everyone's very nervous and excited. So yeah, let's get going. Summit! Woo! Yeah, you know here we are, we are in the danger zone. You can see up there that there is a wall. If you are the loose rock came from down the, the wall up there. 
Okay. So from here now we can walk pole pole without stopping. So we can, I would be happy if we can get out of this danger zone. here for pole pole without Stop. stopping. Without stopping. Yeah, and then we'll walk on this path like 45 minutes and then when we get on the right side we'll be on the safe side. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. day. Let's go to the top, baby! Kilimanjaro! Good. Woo! We have reached 17,600 feet. We still have a little ways to go before our camping at Crater Camp tonight. And then we're gonna hope to reach the summit of Kilimanjaro. Um, and we're still in the game. We are still in the game. We still got some juice left in us to get us up to the top. Boom. <laughs> the influencer has found her prime target on the slopes of mid Mount Kilimanjaro. Coming up the western breach was not easy, but for the strong and devoted influencer in search of the best bangers, she will surely be insta famous. We have made it to the top of Crater Camp. You guys can see the clouds. We are well above the clouds and it's about 10:20 a.m. now. We left at 4. We're going to go get some lunch and uh, make it to the summit today. Stretch up to the mountain, 500 feet to go. We're 10 minutes to the summit, made it up. Wow, what a climb, out of breath. I think it's taken us over like eight hours to get here from Crater Camp. Absolutely amazing though. Let's go to the summit. We're just moments away from reaching the top. We're at the highest peak, 5,895 meters. Insane. Made it to the summit. Woo! Kili! 
We have now made it to Stella Point, 5,756 meters, 18,885 feet. These are the views we get around here. And there you have it, we reached the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. This experience to me was so much more than just climbing to the top. I learned so much about this journey, about myself, and the world around me. This journey has taught me to go after everything you want out of life and to die with no regrets. This experience has taught me that no matter where you go in the world, humans are all the same. We all came together with different backgrounds, ages, and cultures with the same goal in mind. We were capable of achieving this goal through the help of the amazing crew we had every step of the way. Climbing down the mountain was bittersweet as a small family we made was soon coming to an end, but the memories would stay with us forever. I have so much respect and appreciation for the guides and porters and what they do on that mountain. There will always be a part of me left here on Mount Kilimanjaro. We have made it to Baruf Camp, elevation 4,673 meters, and this is going to be our home for the night. We're going to put this up. Some of the best melons. one of the best. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All the way down the mountain. Oh my gosh. We have made it too high, Kim. Banana, watermelon, chicken wings, uh, shish kebabs. We got it all, folks. Good morning, guys. Today is the last day of the climb. We are going to make it down to the hotel today and it's such a bittersweet ending super excited to be back in hotel where i can actually shower and bath but really really sad to be meeting leaving all the people that we met here we had an absolutely amazing time um the day of the climb to the western breach was probably one of the hardest things i've had to do um but it was absolutely amazing at the top and to see all the glaciers so we just had a really really great time here today so yeah i'm gonna pack my stuff up and get heading down today and uh, doing some more hiking and get to the hotel
Bon voyage. Whoa, 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 whoa. 